urgent plantain. He's surprised with his opinion. Inter Miami's Pizarro criticizes dealings of MLS players without consent. If you want to receive the latest news from Inter Miami firsthand, leave a like on this video, so that YouTube always sends you news like this. Inter Miami midfielder Rodolfo Pizarro spoke out against the MLS player swap strategy on Wednesday morning. Pizarro is among those rumored to be traded from Inter Miami in a summer overhaul at the club. His remarks come just weeks before the arrival of Lionel Messi, arguably the biggest signing in MLS history. The league has a strict salary cap. Adding the likes of Messi and Sergio Busquets with potential Sergio Ramos and Jordi Alba puts a strain on that. Therefore, the club will have to trade or release one of its designated players. That's where most point to the 29-year-old Mexican international. Pizarro is the highest-paid player in Miami, with $3.35 million a year. Even though Pizarro is struggling, he finds it hard to keep giving his all while he's gone. Pizarro is not a fan of the MLS trading policy. On Wednesday, Pizarro spoke to the press about what it's like to have that trade threat. I think it's difficult, Pizarro said. I have a contract, I didn't know it could be traded anyway. It's a bit strange. I think it's the only league in the world that does that. Of course, Pizarro isn't the first to complain about MLS trade policy. Players can have their rights traded to other clubs in the league at the turn of a penny. While these are rights for club players, real players find it ironic that they have no rights over where they go. Pizarro can team up with Martino again. The current season is Pizarro's last under contract with the Herons. The team can decide how to handle its future in a few different ways, including buying out the remainder of its contract or trading it to another MLS team. The Los Angeles Galaxy, who are suffering from an international transfer ban, have links to a potential transfer for Pizarro. He started 12 games this season, but contributed just one assist. For the entire 2022 season, he was loaned to Liga MX Monterrey side, where he was as dominant as he was at the club. And you Inter Miami fan, what do you think of this MLS trading system? Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Inter Miami. I update you with the latest news from Inter Miami.